Today guys, I have a set of irons that are from a company that are well known amongst the custom builds scene. They can come either blank or branded and they're jam packed full of technology to help the everyday golfer at an affordable price. Introducing the Tora Golf Split Step CB iron. So you can see a forged iron there with that little bit of technology to get that forgiveness a nice blank face straight away down at the golf ball guys i've been using a split set of cb some prototype irons and for me obviously looking down at these i do actually like that there's no white in the groove so they're not standing out too much it's nice and subtle they've got a nice obviously blacked out finish again one big thing for me straight away is a little bit of a thicker top leading edge and we do have a little bit of offset compared to the prototype irons that i am using at the moment but behind the ball they do look great. I do like the look of them. They don't look too big. They've got a nice blade length. Let's see how they feel. Again, a nice long straight off, a little bit to the right distance wise, just onto the green around about pin high. So straight away there for feel for me, exactly what I want. Again, flight wise, we have got the S300 shaft in which I did use to use. Again, a nice penetrating ball flight. Again, Tora Golf are an OEM company, so they are an original equipment manufacturer. So again, we can see that they've got their own kind of grips here again. Also on the finish there, we can see that they put a nice different colored ferrule on there. So again, to get them looking good, these are all things that you can choose on the website. Let's talk about price. And price for these irons are $800 including shafts. So you can buy them just with the heads or you can get them with shafts already in there. So that's something that I think is obviously for the custom build kind of people. If you want to put some different shafts in, some coloured shafts, some shafts that you maybe can't get hold of on their website, then that's something that you can do. You can buy them separately. Again, you can have them branded, so you can either have them with the fantastic looking Tora Golf logo, or you can maybe put something of your own on there. But they don't just do irons, so they also have a range of wedges and a range of putters. So something that, again, you can customize to make for yourself. There's different options on the website, as you can see. Again, all at an affordable price. So I do have one of the wedges to test. We're gonna test that against wedges such as the Kirkland wedges, the Tacoma wedges, the more budget wedges that you might be looking for. And you'll see there, guys, just picked over the bunker and then has ran onto the green. So a little bit short, wasn't the best try, but I've still got that forgiveness. And that's what they've tried to do, obviously, with the weighting of that club. They have got a little bit more behind the sweet spot and out to the toe and the heel. So for off-centered strikes, you're still going to get to that distance again obviously looks behind the golf ball they do look absolutely fantastic and if we talk about bag appeal again they are going to be something that you would be happy to have in your golf bag either blank or with their logo on or your logo on again a relatively easy par there but let's jump into the studio let's see some actual numbers i want to test the six iron out my standard six iron with the prototype irons i'm trying at the moment is between 180 and 190 so let's see what these do a very similar price point but again direct to consumer companies that are providing again performance with premium components what's more to like so guys, we're going to put the six iron to the test here in the simulator, obviously test it for numbers. Realistically, we should start to see that I'm going to get around about 180 yards out of the six iron. So let's see if that's going to be the same as obviously the clubs that I currently have that are fitted in the Tacomos. We've got an S300 shaft in here, so slightly different. I have got a KBS shaft in my Tacomos at the moment. Let's see. Again, obviously down the ball, like we've mentioned outside, a little bit more offset. But they've been honest, obviously, the top line they have said is relatively thin. They haven't said it's the thinnest top line. It is a little bit thicker than the Tacoma. Okay, so a good strike there. Let's see the distance. Turn it over a little bit. 187 yards, carry gone 198, so a little bit further there, so pretty good straight away. A little bit less, so that's why I'm going to get that little bit more distance. Let's see if I can straighten out that ball flight okay so that's a little bit better straighter ball flight good strike distance wise 190 carry going 201 so straight away feeling nice and solid off the face and that's what we've seen outside is that really for these for the price obviously we're looking at around about 800 dollars including the shafts when they are built up they are feeling great. And again, that's a very competitive price. Obviously, a lot cheaper than your 
household brands such as your TaylorMade, your Pings and your Callaways. Right, there's a good one. There's an off-centred hit. A little bit low on the face. Have I lost much? Carried 175 and gone 190. So again, obviously with the technology in there, we're trying to get as much weight behind that lower part of the club for your thinner shots. We've still got that forgiveness. And that's, again, what we've seen out on the golf course. So far, these tour irons are ticking all the boxes, but let's get back out on the golf course now. Now I reached out to Tora Golf because I saw them on Instagram. It was something that came up on my feed with something I might be interested in. I really like the blank ones, but I did really like the ones here with that logo on them. So I got in touch with them and it was a little bit of fresh air because obviously they told me what these irons are designed for. And again, the design for that level of golf who doesn't want to use some big cavity backs doesn't want to use some big clunky irons so we've got some forgiveness in these cb so they're a forgiving set they've also got a nice blade length and they're also then trying to be a little bit of offset there for the person who loses the ball to the right we know the majority of golfers are losing to the right but nicely on their spiel that they sent over me so their information pack even not just spiel but they was honest. So yes, it's not the thinnest of top lines. It's a relatively top line. So they're not trying to paint it for what it's not. They're also saying nice and open, we've got low to mid offset. And that's again, something when you're reading up on clubs, it's not always on there. It's not always at the forefront. So you can't tell, right, well, I prefer them because if I order them, they might come with no offset. Again, very similar to like the Tacomo clubs, they do say what kind of players they are for, whether they have offset or not. And this is where the direct to consumers actually probably give you a little bit more information, but I like the honesty. The honesty is something that we all know what the spiel is. We all know, obviously, in January, every driver is going to be coming out, or a lot of drivers are going to be coming out, and it's always the best. It's always the longest. It's always the most forgiving. And you put it to the test, and it's very hard. It's going to be to see much difference, see a big gain in these. But these are for those kinds of people who want a nice player looking club. They want that nice sleek looking club with that forgiveness. We've got obviously that forgiveness throughout the perimeter weighting. We've got that help with that little bit of offset. And for me, they feel fantastic. That ball flight there is exactly what I would expect from a premium iron, from a premium CB, from your tailor-made, from your Titleist. And that's what I think is very good with these. We've obviously seen the numbers inside and we can see that they perform as well. Flying nice and far, they do feel incredibly soft. And I think if you're looking for an iron with a little bit of a Tora-inspired look, but with the forgiveness, with that little bit of offset to help your slice, then these Tora irons could be a perfect option for you. Again, I'm in the UK and I did have to pay import tax, so it did cost me 73 extra pounds to get them out of customs. So depending where you live, think about that. They are coming from Canada. They do come in, like I say, different options, but watch out on the channel, guys, because I will be testing the wedges out. This could be a great company for you if you're in the States to get them over to you and they're at an affordable price and they're performing.